What are these? We don't need these. They are gloves. They're my favourite gloves. Mark. Okay, they're your summer gloves. I have a pair exactly the same. I wear them all the way through winter because I am hard. You are hard. However, times are hard for many people. They are. And so we like to get up, pick, up, pick up bits of kit that are not costing us so much money but do work and are brilliant. And you, if you're in the fraternity of motorcycling, you probably know about Apex 66 on Facebook. Apex 66? A bunch of guys got together probably about a couple of years ago now. And how do we call it? It's a little bingo thing. It's, um, it's like a lottery or... Um, well, it's competition, isn't it's it? It's a competition. So they put up all... They put up bikes, kit, like toolboxes, all sorts of stuff. Have a look at Apex 66. And you can buy tickets... To enter into the competition all the competitions are limited number and they do uh, um, low odd uh, competitions where the, the there's only a really really small amount of uh, people allowed to buy tickets and they do bigger odds uh, for all sorts from motorbikes everything it's just like well, a friend of mine car washers well, well the muck off uh, jet wash I, I won off apex 66 my mate uh, Rich has won a motorbike off and he got a Ducati scrambler and he's won all sorts. It must cost him a fortune. Anyway. Oh. I got these. I've been after some new gloves for a, a while now. Ever since you've had hands. Ever since I've had hands and my, I've got those BMW waterproof ones where you have um, dr uh, Oh, they, you've got the two gloves in one. Two, two you, gloves yeah? in one. You've got the waterproof side and then you've got the like, summer side in the vented in the uh, in the palm for some and they work really really well i think i had about three pairs they're probably about 150 quid you something you like wore that. them all at the same time oh yeah you've got very small hands <laughs> um work exceptionally well but i saw these these are made by a company called i'll just get all this paperwork here halvassons 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 swedish company halvassons oh halvassons you can tell by it's halvassons <laughs> swedish Tell by the flag on the yeah. thing there. And these are called, and I'm going to get this wrong, Lustjal. If I Is that Swedish? It, I think so. And I've got a Swedish mate who'll be right on me going, you've got it all wrong, you muppet. Mm. And I'm really sorry. Um, but I've got all this paperwork that came with them. They say they're a three season glove, and I'm, we're wearing it now. It's, what, it's February, it's about nine degrees. They're very warm, but they're not sort of thing you could wear throughout the winter on a, you'd have to choose your days mm. you know um they're made of out, outlast so they're waterproof uh they have padded uh, or what do they knuckles? call it? knuckles they've got abrasion bits on the fingers and they're just really nice i think this is goat leather that's on the palm mm. i think i've got that right mm. and look at this You've seen one of these before it's got a button on it it's got a button on it and basically, I think it's called a, a Knox button. I might have got that wrong, but it's a button anyway. And so a tightening wheel. It is. Yeah. Look. Look at that. When you turn that, that tightens. But it tightens evenly. Oh yeah. Isn't it? Oh yeah. And then to undo it, you just pull that. And then just pull it apart. And pull it apart, and it comes yeah. apart again. Now the good thing about them is you can put these underneath your suit. Yeah. Press it down, tighten it up on top of your sleeve look. Wow, that's really that's really quite neat, isn't it? It's very neat. neat. I mean, the BMW ones I've got, they will go under your sleeve, and this is a BMW jacket, but I have them outside because they're so bulky. What's this for then? Well, I think... Does that keep your it, money or...? Put your sandwiches in there. Oh, yeah. This is the actual um, knuckle protector but it's actually very, very mobile, if you see mm. what I mean. It stays over your knuckles, but when you're pulling the clutch in and things like that, rather than feeling it pull mm. on the material like some of them do. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that again. It. Okay. I wonder whether that's to keep it cool. Might be, might be, but it doesn't pull on this material here, so you don't get any 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 stretching. Yeah. So I like them. Very nice. They do look very very comfortable. I must admit. They and do. have they got a little thing on one of the fingers? I'm just about to show you oh. that because I put the wrong glove on. Here, let me show this one. The right hand glove. Now, the right hand glove also comes 
with this little attachment there, a little hook, which attaches to those so you can connect them together so you don't lose them. Oh yeah, well it'd be a bit difficult because you wouldn't be able to get one hand on each side of the handle. And you can't ride your bike like that no. anyway, can you? Anyway, so, exactly the same, but it has that on it. Can you see that? I got distracted by the farmer. All right. Oh, it's got like a nipple. That is like a nipple. Probably the best way to describe Let it. Let me home in on that. That is a nipple. Excellent. I'm wearing nipple covered gloves. Yeah. Do sometimes are those nipples flat and sometimes they poke out depending on how excited the bike is? I think so. Oh. Depending on cold or heat or anything. So, how many times do you wear a pair of gloves like these gloves here? These are your what are they, Furigan or something they like are that? They are my D30 James gloves. And you'll see the little pattern on there that says yeah. it's touchscreen sensitive. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Still? It is. Really? Yeah. Mine's worn off mine. Okay, but these, it's a little bit of rubber, I think, specifically designed for a touchscreen on a <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> it is. Do you want to smell it? Uh, no, thanks. Okay. No. So it works on the phone. He says, he says, but it's designed to work on the phone. Yeah. Oh, and I've got a fingerprint ID on this, so won't do that. It's like a stylus, isn't it? Like a Almost stylus. like a stylus. So uh, I'm really pleased with that, but it's only on one finger, on, and on the right finger. And i tell you what you can do, is if somebody really annoys you, you can point at them and they all they'll see is that red ring. Or bash them on the phone yeah. with it. Okay, so the only thing I'm disappointed about it is it's on the right hand finger. Yeah, it's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> no, everyone who rides a motorcycle knows the throttle's on the right. Can you get a left-handed version? No. Oh. Because there's the left-handed glove and it doesn't have it. So mm. you'd think they'd have put it either only on the left or on both of the index fingers. Perhaps they're doing it so that you don't use your mobile phone on your handlebars while you're riding. Exactly. But if most people being right-handed, you know, you get the left-handed person... Yeah. I wonder whether that isn't actually safe, because they built the BM, uh, the Volvo, didn't they, Sweden? Yeah, they did. You know, one of the safest cars on the on the road. Maybe that's what it's for. Perhaps they've gone, no, we're not putting it on there for that reason, I don't know. One other thing they've got is a little wiper blade. Very, very thin. That is the, very thin. On the left thin. index finger. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, I've worn so many different pairs of gloves and they go, yeah, fitted with a wiper blade. Yours and isn't. they never work. Oh, they're rubbish. Yeah. You end up just using the finger. So I've not ridden, well, I have ridden in the rain, but I don't necessarily use that anyway. Because I use pledge on my visor and the rain just falls off. Did I tell you that before? One pound from the pound shop. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Other proprietary wood polishes are available. So they're made of Outlast. They're very nice, made by Halversons. I got them through Apex 66. Have a look at their website. They do, I think, two draws a week. And they're really, really nice guys. We tried to speak to them at the, um, the NEC, oh, the bike show so in busy, November. Weren't so busy, weren't they? Really, really busy. And massive Strangely, queues. just as we approached. <laughs> yeah, you're a little busy in the rear. Yeah. But they're really nice guys. And the prices of their tickets aren't expensive. I mean, they're doing how much? How much are the gloves then? It depends. These were, I think, the gloves to, to buy are over £100, I think. Oh, wow, OK. I think about £110, something like that. I might have got that Alberson's one. Alberson's got a good name, though, haven't they? Really good name. But they sell tickets. I mean, they're selling bike tickets now for £1.99 for a, wow. a bike they've got on there. It's not going to tell you what it is, because obviously by the time you see this, yeah. that'll have gone. But... They have loads of different bikes and loads and loads of different kit. We've got the muck-off spray there, the uh, jet wash, toolboxes, helmets, tyres. They're doing tyres now, yeah. which are really nice. You can choose which tyre you want. So we've been shot at. God, they're shooting at us. <laughs> They've missed. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. So look at Apex. They've got loads of different stuff there. I got these off Apex 66. Really happy. Thanks very much, lads. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Go and have a look at them on their website. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.